And welcome to my short tutorial how to make your map from a normal map to an adaptive map. Okay, so first of all, you finish your map in the usual way and make it playable. Uh, that means add maxes, add starting locations, add hydros, stuff like that. So your map is basically finished. You can change your height map, decals, and whatever later on anyway, but um, it's better to start off from a finished map. Okay, so after you finished your map, you have to download the latest version of the script, which is found here. I will add the Dropbox link in the description of the video. You can ask me anyway. The script is updated fa fairly regularly. Okay, so this file contains three relevant uh, Lua files that you have to add to your map folder. So you go to your map folder here and add these files. The options file, the script file and the tables file. Okay, now you rename them properly so they will have the same name as everything else in your folder. Okay, um, then you, uh, the next step is you open your script file and you rename, you change this path to your tables file. Be aware that the uploader from download um, does not update this file, uh, this folder here, uh, to um, your map name. So if you upload um, a map at the moment, it will change the folder name and everything else. And also all, most of the um, paths in the scenario Lua file, but it will not change this one. So you, if you pick your map in, in if you pick your map name uh, here, um, you have to be aware that the map folder will have this name with every space replaced by an underscore like this, and you will have this dot version number from this version here, there. Uh, and you have to add this correctly. If it doesn't uh, match the one that's in the map, you will not be able to have uh, to play that map actually. It will spawn all maxes and no ACUs and will produce an error. Alright, so after you did that, you go to your map and uh, select all the markers that you need for one player. For example, these. So now you have a lot of markers selected and the next thing you do is you open the tables file usually this is empty but this is the next step you open your tables file and you say okay I have player 14 and I have hydro 14 for that and the max is 133 135 and so on. So you go to player 14. This is organized in such a way that the player number plus 10 is the line number here. So you go to line 24, which is 10 plus 14. And you add the maxes that you want to link to that player. And you go here to line 44 and you add 14. Because here for the hydros it's 30 plus the player number. All right. So, um, all maxes that you do not add to these will, um, to these tables will spawn always. Um, in case the player is absent, the maxes that are listed for him will not spawn. This is how the script works. Uh, you do not have to add decals below your maxes. They will automatically spawn together with the maxes. Okay, next thing. Um, you well actually dynamic spawns work now you can add uh, all maxes that are linked to a player and if a player is there the maxes will spawn and if he's not the maxes will disappear okay so dynamic spawn working uh, next thing select the maxes you want to have spawnable by options and then add them to the line into the to the file as well okay let's see let's say this max and this max and these four maxes here they should be spawnable or um, 
made disappear by a lobby option. Okay, so how do we do this? We just remember these numbers 41, 42, 47 and 48 and then we go to the tables file and then we add them to for example site max. We say we, this is what we call site mass and then we add them here. So 41, 42, 47 and 48 which were exactly the ones that we have selected. So if you now select the lobby option that you do want to have less maxes there um, and in this case there are actually plenty of options available and then it will first make these maxes disappear and if you select a higher option then it will make these disappear and then these. Okay so the next thing you have to do to make this actually work is you go to the options file and then move from this common block here these maxes uh, the the option that you need to the top in our case it's this one additional side max and we want to have the side maxes enabled so we will despawn the first group of the maxes in this uh, line here these will not spawn these two groups will spawn however so we set the default to two and we change the option corresponding to what we added to the table. So now we have to go to the script file and scroll down a little bit and we have to change this number here because we changed the default value in the options file in this um, line here. Okay, after we did that our custom options work now as well. So we we here in in our to do list. This is already working now. The next thing is um, we add regs to our map and add them to army seventeen. So we go to armies and we have, for example, the Zar reg or this Aeon patrol and stuff, and we op add them to groups to different groups and we call them for example optional wreckage 2, optional wreckage 3 and so on. So what do we do with that now? We have to of course move the option from the options file uh, from the from the common block to above the common block, change the options appropriately and then we have to go to the script file and, s and see if our um, if our army number and our name for the groups matches the one here. Usually if you if you <laughs> take this convention it will just work immediately. Okay so after we did that our um, reclaim is also uh, working now. Uh, if you want to do some other advanced stuff for example um, make only the, this middle part of the map accessible at the beginning and expand the map later on. You can just add some area and um, make the in the part at the top. Um, you can set the playable area to what you want to start at the beginning and then change at the very bottom of the script um, when the expand in this uh, map expand, you can set the area in which it should be expanded after some options are met. And um, which options these are, you can um, well basically look at the options file that are the options that are implemented already. If you want to have something else, um, expand map expand conditions is the, um, the subroutine that checks if the options are met or not. Also, you have to change the default value here from one to something else in case you want to use this option. Okay, um, so what's left? Basically now um, advanced map expansion works as well. Um, as I already mentioned you can still change the map, you can add spawns, you can add maxes, you can add whatever you want. Um, just make sure in case you delete maxes and add new ones at the same position that the numbers still match those in the table. Alright, that's basically everything that has to be done to make your map uh, adaptive.